I've seen you before. Why are you following me? The Divine Gate is almost within your reach, but you refuse to seek it out, Alto. You think it's something intangible, like emotion or thought, don't you? You weirdo. <laughs> You're forgetting that deep down inside, we all have a kind heart and want to make the world a better place for everyone else. Only sometimes our other emotions get in the way. Your past isn't the important thing about you, though. This is what counts. Right here. Even if someone wants to be a good person, you can never truly know what's in their hearts. Painful memories and fears might keep them from living the life they want to lead. Who are you? Just someone who's been watching all this time. Whoa. Hey, look at this. It says that someone saw the Divine Gate at Mount Hagakure. That's crazy. I wonder if they got their wish granted. Oh, please. I haven't believed in that fairy tale since kindergarten. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think there really is such a thing as the Divine Gate? Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, mm. But you can only see it if you believe in it. Finally opened. Time to see what's on the other side. The boy had always been alone. He was born and abandoned in Terastia, no one bothering to raise him. He felt he existed for no reason all by himself in a big, uncertain world. Sadness filled the air around him, saturating his daily life. Where does that door go? It can't be any worse than on this side. The boy had no reason to stay. He found himself in a place of light and beauty, a world called Celestia. But this new land did nothing to lift his spirits. It was as though every splendor before his eyes was nothing but an illusion. Even the colors dancing through the bright sky seemed unreal. Until, one day, he found another boy. One who was smiling. Excuse me. Where am I? Uh, this is Celestia. We're near the Holy Night Town. Celestia? Wait, hold on a second. You're a human, aren't you? <clears throat> what are you doing over here? Isn't it Christmas Day back in Terastia? Shouldn't you be there celebrating? No, I'm all alone. Are you an orphan or something? <clears throat> Do you not have anywhere that you can call home? No. Do you think I could find one? Uh, well, I don't know why you're asking me that. <laughs> don't cry. How about I give you a present? <laughs> like I said, it is Christmas Day after all. Who are you? Uh, well, I'm, uh, yeah, I guess I could tell you. <laughs> you see, I'm Santa Claus. You're Santa Claus? Yep, that's me. It may be for just one day a year, but it's my job to make the whole world a happy place. Are you being serious? Uh, well, if you don't believe me, how about some proof? Come on, follow me. Where to? Well, to my place, naturally, to show you the truth. Just you wait. I've got a great present for you. I'm gonna give you a brand new start at life, kid. 
let's get you cleaned up a bit. Thank you. Finally! There you are! I've been looking everywhere. Who is this? Hey, Lisa. I just met this guy, but he's gonna be my best friend forever. Oh, really? That's wonderful! <sighs> I'm going to call it a night. Handle the rest. You got it, boss. You know, it's strange. You go by the name of Santa Claus, and yet you show up with presents even when it's not the holiday season. Yes, but only for you, Arthur. Merry Christmas. Now, I've got important news for you. Something very special has come into my possession, a gift. Like Christmas came early this year? Yesterday, I obtained the key. The what? The key that will lead us to the Divine Gate. The key that will make all our dreams come true. <gasps> you mean it? The gate's real? Seriously? Divine Gate. That's right. And we're going to open it up. When the Divine Gate opened before, it merged together the three worlds of Celestia, Terastia, and Helistia. The result was utter chaos. We have selfishness to blame for this. Cowardice. People only cared about themselves and their own worlds. You can laugh if you want to. But it's true. I'm in love with Terastia. How oh, touching. You've got a bright future as a poet. Oh, keep talking, Arthur. I'm falling for you. You're both just jealous of how smart he is. So, go on. Why have you summoned us here now? The time has come, my friends. Let's find the gate. All right, let's get a move on. It seems I have more important things to worry about than what soup to make tonight. Are you serious? Of course he is. I can tell by that mischievous smirk. There's no stopping the boss when it gets that look on his face. Well, serious or not, you know you can count on us to follow your lead. Let's stop yapping and get going. Yeah, what's our first step? I'll be by your side throughout this journey. I won't back down. Let me ask you one thing, Arthur. What's your plan if we do find the Divine Gate? <laughs> it's simple. I'm going to put the world back the way it should be. And what way is that? Those who walk through the Divine Gate receive great power. Enough to remake the entire world. To restore it to the way it once was. Now I see. That's why you want to obtain the gate's power. Yes. I'll do whatever it takes. And I refuse to stop until I have completed this mission. That's why I've surrounded myself with people who I can trust. Those who will follow me on this difficult journey. Now then. Allow me to lead you as your king. This isn't going to be an easy expedition. I'm asking each of you to trust me with your lives. Yes! Your highness! Oh, hey, what's up, Brunor? That's Sir Brunor. Anyway, Arthur wants to talk to you guys right now. Huh? How come? You can go ask him yourself. Although... It probably has to do with us claiming the gate. Once there, Arthur's gonna use his wish to make this messed up world a better place for everyone. I find empty fish tanks to be comforting. That's cool, but why? They're so full of potential. I could put anything in there. <sighs> there are a lot of possibilities. What a cool thought. That's so smart, Arthur. Eh, I don't know. I think I'd rather see a bunch of awesome fish swimming around if I'm being honest here. Is that so? What about you?
The tank reminds me of my home. Oh, I see. Your home? Huh? What do you mean? Let's move on to why I've brought the three of you here today. This world we live in is so full of discontent. <sighs> Akane, Midori, Alto. I'm heading for the Divine Gate. And I'd like you to join me. You mean you're seriously offering us the chance to find it with you? Yes, I am. Of course. Naturally, my Knights of Ram will be coming along. In addition to you three, I've asked Ginji, Hikari, and Yukari from the Academy to join as well. But we have no way of knowing for sure that we'll find it, right? You'll never get anywhere if you think like that. Huh? Have faith. I need people who believe in the gate, only they will be able to pass through it. But what if you're not even sure you want to find it? What if you're not certain you want your wish to be granted? Just as rain gives way to sunshine, your doubts will clear. I only have one wish. I want to claim the Divine Gate. That's all. So, what should we do? Are you seriously asking whether or not we should go after the Divine Gate? Yeah. Well, I'm going for sure. But what you do is up to you guys. Those things he was talking about. I will remake the world and return it to the way it should be. And then become its king. I guess that must be the reason you want to find the Divine Gate so badly. Wait, a king? Like with a crown? That's right. And I'll be a grand leader. My subjects will all prosper. My good friend will ensure happiness to everyone. Who is this friend? Cause that's nuts. He's the kind soul you know as Santa Claus. One night a year, he brings joy and presents to people all throughout the world. Oh yeah, yeah I know all about Santa Claus! Whoa, is he really a friend of yours? Oh man, come on! Don't tell me that you think there's a real Santa Claus too! It may be hard to believe, but I assure you that he exists. He is just as real as the Divine Gate. That's why I'm going to reach it. I'm afraid that I lied to you. Huh? I said that I liked empty fish tanks. Okay, so you don't like them? I know how scary it is to lose something. We are alike in that way, aren't we? That's why I'm always prepared to lose things that I value now. I want to turn the world back to how it was when Santa Claus was able to give everyone happiness. He gave me a new start when I lost everything, so I want to repay him somehow. The only way I can. It sounded like your wish was for yourself, but in fact it's selfless. For someone else entirely. You understand, because you're the same way. You're always sacrificing yourself to keep something important safe. You've been protecting your little brother, Alto. You've been his scapegoat. Caring for other people or ideals or worlds, anything other than yourself makes a person stronger. That's the blessing and the curse of being human. <laughs> 